M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Running the UVK6 Air or K5 with the uh, Quasheng dock software that you can see. Now remember, you don't get audio with this, you need to make a cable. So and here's, here's the cable that I've been making. I'll show you my effort in a minute, but you are using, you know, it's quite important to understand that you've got to buy two, two twin tails that plug into the, the K5 and then split and join to the a microphone. Let's move that light out of the way here. Now, one, if you look at the gray cable here, one cable is going, if you look from the gray to the microphone, but the other cable, the gray one, is going down to the USB, the U Bofen cable. And then with the, that's a 2.5 jack going in there. Now with the 3.5 jack going in here, it's one, the top one is going to the microphone and the bottom one, the black, look at the black line, it's going to the, to the top one from the USB cable, so you're splitting it. But then, this is the bit of cutting you need to do, is you've got to create this audio line to the PC port, okay? So you're, you're tying it, you're, you know, you're cutting in here, and this is what I'm going to show you, my little join that I've made. This is the diagram that we're seeing where you've cut in it. See the black cable? That's your ground and your outer shield. And it's joining to the eventual, you know, the tail that's going to become your line into your PC. You've joined together the audio, you've joined together those two wires there and added a 47K resistor that takes you back. It says here blue, but it might be a different color but to the audio out from your 2.5 jack, which is going to be the top one, okay? That's the cable you'd split there. That's your 2.5 cable going to your audio jack. So it does end up becoming quite messy, a quite messy sort of setup. Now I've done mine, but the microphone, although it's working great as a speaker microphone, turn it up. Oh, no one's talking now, of course. Let's do the radio. You can hear it. And I've even put a, a Bluetooth sender here in line. All I've done is plug the, uh, the line out that would go to the PC into a Bluetooth sender. So we've now got, you know, the software's running, running as well, but it's a bit glitchy. But it is running. If I uh, do the... That and turn the analyzer on, it runs, exit. So it's like anything, you know, the problem is there's a, there's a few variables regarding the colors of cable, the color cables. Um, the, when you buy these twin, these twin splitters, which look like this, you know, one will be 2.5, one will be 3.5. You don't cut the 3.5 on, which is the bottom one. There's variables in the colors of cables and, you know, stereo, mono, all this kind of stuff. So you have to do, you do have to work at it a little bit. So here's the two cables that I got. This one's the 3.5, two splitters, nice and simple. You don't have to mess with that. With the 2.5, so the one above, this is where we've added the, the line out. So we've had to go in here. Now you have to work out the tip, you have to work out the audio, which on mine is the white cable, okay? See that that's the white cable. So I've added, if you have a look, the 47K resistor between that white and then going out to the tip. I've joined the earths together and the shield, so that's the the black cable you're seeing here. The green one is the data cable. It might be red on yours in the diagram. I think it's red. So that one I didn't actually need to cut. So forget that one. And then I've sent it out. Now then when you come to connect to your device, if I grab the mic first. So there's our mic. We've got twin pin here. And then just beneath that is our USB cable. So let's plug in the... 2.5 in first that's had the extra addition. You do need to make sure it goes in. I had to file mine down a bit. 
So let's get the photo. You, now you don't have much choice with where these goes because the 2.5 has only got 2.5s at the other end. And that's going to help you. The diagram says 2.5, one goes to the microphone. So let's do that. That's going to go from here to here. Then it says that the cable now from the bottom will go to here. So we need to plug in our 3.5 here. And then there's only one that's going to fit. I think, actually, no, you've got a choice of two. Uh, so what, but it does say that one, one 3.5 goes up. So we're going to put one 3.5 up here and one here. So I'm guessing we have a choice of two. Let's try both. Um, let me have a look now. And there is this diagram as well, if this helps. Okay, just freeze phrase freeze frame that and I'll put the link in of course to the GitHub by Nick Shaw. So let's connect one on, one 3.5, I'll just try one, we can always swap them. The 2.5 that comes from the top has to go here so we can, we've only got one choice there because the other one's been spliced. But this is the other thing, have we spliced the right one? Again we, we would have got two choices. Although that one does say Fono, so maybe I've spliced the wrong one, but okay, we'll still do it. So as soon as I plug it in, it starts to work, the microphone comes on, we've still got that tail. So it is working, it's going into scan, so what I'm going to try now is splicing, if you look here, the cable that I spliced, the 2.5 coming out. I'm going to try splicing the other one. It's only a quick swap over and rejoining here, which is two seconds. And just see if that makes any difference. Because what I'm not getting is I'm not getting PTT and it's a bit glitchy, the whole thing. Okay, well, I did swap it and it's pretty much doing the same thing. Although it is working, you see me changing there on the radio and on the computer. I've got software, I've got audio, audio coming from the microphone, no problem, but if I PTT, I just get an error. Um, now, let's just plug it into the PC a minute. So the tail is now just going into the line in or the microphone on my PC. I've told my PC to listen on this PC monitor. If I hit settings here, on the left, we've got choices here. Audio out device, audio in device. So I would say, what microphone do you reckon? Out will be my, again, my computer, close. And let's get some audio, let's try radio. Yeah, people were really I can hear radio coming from the microphone, no problem. Am I meant to? Hear it on the PC as well, not really sure. To be honest. But okay, we'll keep playing, but if we do the this and then analyzer. Oh, we're on radio, come out of that. Exit. Then let me exit. No, it's gone, to, that's channel editor. I'll just exit on the radio. Yeah, I just pushed the button on the radio and that exited it. Com, close. And as I do that, I can see it changing on my thing. On my, it does go straight into scan. But PTT wise. Just voltage too high error. So now I did notice on one it says snip the. Well, I don't know if it says snip. Have a look at this. If you look at this diagram here, it's showing where the blue cable's been cut, which is the audio out, and it's been fed across that the audio's been snipped there. there. So I'll quickly do that. As, as soon as I do that, we lose our audio. 
if I tap it, reconnect it, it comes back. So I feel like, of course, for ham operator experimenters, they're going to love this. But for your general day-to-day -day person who wants to use the um, dock, Koshang dock software, then we need a solution, uh, a simple solution. Maybe someone's going to start making a box where you can plug in our cable and our microphone and 25 quid for the box, but then you everything just works, yeah? Speaker inside the box maybe, and then just plug in any mic. And I, I, I'm using the Kwashang Dock quite a lot for programming the radio anyway, but just via the USB cable. Um, so it's a very quick way to program channels. It looks great, sound and... Um, but we need to, I feel that it's more favorable to many, many, especially novice users and people that don't want to get a soldering iron out or don't want to start chopping wires and that. I feel that this, um, this is what the bridge, the bridge, the next bridge to cross. But I still thanks very much to, to everyone involved and developers and everything. And I'm sure lots and lots of uh, tips. Bye for now, 7 3.